swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. Over time, we found him not against the globalization. That's too simple a label. He is a partial globalist. Whatever good from globalization for America, let's continue. I think American companies will not let the American president just withdraw and retreat. After all, every top Fortune 500 company, and they are all these internet companies, that business is around the world. How do you become just America alone? And I don't believe President Trump wants to do that. He went to Japan, Korea, China. He succeeded in uh, committing these three countries to buy more from the US. This is a globalization. But uh, when we push the envelope to sell more to the US, he did not say no, he said fair trade. You have to sell in a fair way, meaning no subsidy. This in China has abused our environment, our people, and which make our export more competent. I totally support him. That forced Chinese leader to push reform, technology, efficiency. Without plentiful of gas in reserve, Beijing is pushing an envelope to abandon coal. Without Trump, we are not going to do it. We have these two unhinged leaders in Kim Jong-un and, and Donald Trump, two very unstable individuals. Imagine if they had to make decisions in a matter of minutes about, you know, perhaps a false warning or a provocation like a plane being down. Could we count on them to act in a cool, rational manner as opposed to impulsively? President Trump is uncertain. He's unpredictable. For the first time, a North Korean leader is wondering what the United States will be up to. And it's no bad thing. For security, you must have the unpredictable element. Too unpredictable is not great. Some unpredictability helps. So now there's some talk.